Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be sending emails with Node.js, and not just any emails, but templated emails, so that we could, say, make a newsletter or something like that, and send it out in bulk to all of our newsletter subscribers, and have it be personalized to each of them. So let's get started. I have an empty Node.js project, more or less empty. Um, so let's install a couple packages to start off. So I'm going to say npm install save handlebars node mailer email templates and bluebird promises. We'll install all of those. And while that's working, we'll get started here. So I'm going to say constant node mailer equals require node mailer, like so. And then we'll say email, email template is require email templates dot email template. Okay, um, set up our node mailer transporter, which is going, what we're going to be using to send the email, so we'll say transport er equals node mailer dot create transport, and we have to put some options in there. Um, these are credentials um, for the SMTP server so that we can actually send email. I'm just going to be using my personal Gmail account to send email for this tutorial because setting up a whole mail server is going to be out of scope for this video so I'm going to say service is Gmail and then we have to authenticate ourselves in there with a user and a password now I have a creds.js file here that contains my email and password for my personal email and password so I'm not going to show that on the video but I'll say creds equals require creds like that. And I'll say user is creds, creds.user like that. That's just a string. And pass is creds.pass like that. Okay, so now our transporter is set up. And just a couple more things we have to require. That's path is require path. And promise require bluebird like so. Now I'm gonna make a function real quick uh, just to get it out of the way and then it'll be send email and that'll take an object containing a whole bunch of properties of the email and then it'll just say transporter dot send mail object like that so it's a really simple wrapper super simple then since we're using this email templates library, um, I'm going to create a function called load template. And this is going to take a template name and contexts. Now, the email template library uh, uses folders that uh, each contain template files for an email. So I'm going to create a folder called templates and then inside of that folder I'm going to create one called welcome for say the welcome email to our newsletter. We could also create another folder like um, oh updates and that would create an, an update actually um, I'll rename this to updates for April, April 2017. So in our welcome folder, we're going to create a couple handlebars files. One is called subject, so that'll be the subject, handlebars, subject of the email, and then the text of the email. And we can also create an HTML form of the email, like so. So in I'm just going to do these really simply, but obviously if um, you are using this in production, you would work a lot harder on this. But I'm just going to say, subject, uh, welcome to 
my epic epic website awesome and I didn't use any personalizable tags here but that's fine I'll use them here I'll say hey name whatever your name is thanks for signing up for our newsletter smiley face wonderful and then uh, we can put basically the same thing here except um, why not make this um, bold because we can you know it's HTML just to show that that works I guess um, all right so that looks good now when we load the template, this template name is going to be welcome or updates-april-2017 or something like that. So we need to say let template equal new email template. And this takes the directory that holds all of the files for the template. So this will be template slash welcome. And that's where I'm going to use path. I'm going to say path.join. Um, the current directory templates is the folder that we've decided to use and template template name like so all right that's good and then we'll return a series of promises that represent uh, well we'll return a promise that will resolve to a whole bunch of rendered templates so I'm going to say return promise dot all and inside of here um, we'll render the template for each context um, so I'm going to create our contexts here and they will be users so I'm going to say let users equal an array of users users are going to have a name note that this this uh, property name here is going to correspond to name there. So if you want to say username here, we'll have to say username here. But I'm just going to leave it as name for now. Okay, so name is Joe and email is info at geeklaunch.net because uh, that's Geek Launch's email, and why not use that? So I'm just going to make three users, um, Jack and John. Jack, John, and Joe. They all have the same email, but it'll, it'll work just fine. So these are our contexts. Um, we're going to render the template once for each of these contexts, and we'll get um, information back that we'll deal with then. So contexts.map context. We get a context like so. And we're going to return return a new promise. Resolve reject like so. Okay. And this promise is going to resolve or reject to the rendered template. So I'm going to say templ template dot render and we have to render that with a context and that will be context and then it has a callback like so and inside the callback if um, well this callback will have an error and hopefully a result on success but if we have an error we'll just reject that with the error and otherwise we will um, resolve with the result wonderful so now just as an example I'm going to um, say load template welcome and context is users then um, we get our result back actually that's results and I'll say console log uh, JSON dot stringify results null and four to make it look nice. Okay, so if I say no, whoops, 
node index.js, what do we get? Well, we get an array of objects, and the objects have three properties, HTML, text, and subject. In the HTML, um, that looks correct, as well as with the text, because um, we have Jack here, so it replaced that in the template. And we have John and Joe. Perfect. Now, I'm going to slightly modify this here so that um, we can use the send mail function easier. I'm going to return or resolve with an email. I'm going to resolve with an object that has these properties, an email, which is going to be the result, result, like that, and a context that represents the context there. So now we can say return promise promise eh, promise dot all results dot map map if I can type result like that and then we'll send an email a semicolon there so we'll send an email that looks like this it takes an object we'll send it to result .email from me and um, subject is result dot email dot subject and HTML is result dot email dot HTML and text is result dot email dot text like so now um, all of those are promises so finally we can say then console.log yay it worked all right let's see if it did work well it says yay now i'm going to switch over and check my email and look we got three emails and it's displaying the HTML here. Um, but if I say show original, we can see there's text here as well as the HTML here. And awesome, it worked. Now let's create the second template. So over here, I'm just going to say new file, html.hbs. OK, new file, text.hbs. OK, and subject.hbs. So now we can start having some more fun here, you know? Close that out. OK, so the subject is going to be, oops. Updates for April, April 2017. Check it out. Name. Sounds like a pretty quick baby title to me, or subject line to me, maybe, sort of. And then we'll just say updates for name. And same thing here, except let's add some HTML, make it really big and annoying. Awesome. Now all we have to do is come over here and change this string to updates April 2017. Save that. Run our script. It says yay. Come back over to my email. And look. Updates for Joe. Check it out, Joe. And there you go. That is a quick tutorial on how to send template emails in Node.js. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.